Alright, welcome. We are now live. Okay, so, welcome everybody. What we're going to be doing today is... Well... First off, we have to, uh... Get our live chat up and running, here we go. Alright, so, welcome everybody. What we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be logging in the snow. So guys, we are back up here on the mountain. I just drove the Unimog up, plowed a little bit, got some stuff done, and, uh... We're now up here, guys. We got some snow to clean up, and, uh... We definitely gotta get some wood logging. It's literally February. We need to be out here logging soon. Alright. So, start off, guys. We have our, uh, our new Holland here. Just checking these tires. They were looking bald, but they're good. They're not bald. Just from the way I looked at them, it looked like the tires were all bald. What I mean by that is they don't have any tread. Alright, well, <laughs> wow, this tractor started when it's, like, minus two. What even is the temperature right now? It's negative six. Realistically, this would not start at negative six. Alright, well, guys, hopefully you like my graphics. I'm trying some graphics out here. So, uh, you can now see that the caution light reflects off of the stuff. I have a pretty good computer for running stuff like that, so... I decided why not try and put it to work. Alright, well... Here we go. So, we're gonna clean up down here by the side of the road. And why we're cleaning this up, guys, is because... Uh, I have truckers, and they have to come through here. So, decided why not clear this out right here, because I don't think I'm going to have my trucks coming this far, but they may actually have to come back here to turn around or something. So, better to be safe than to be sorry, so why not? Okay. All right, there we go. Pushing some snow. Okay, so now what we need to do is up here at the top, we need to take all of this snow and we just need to get it, we just need to get it out. Um, I don't want to blow too much snow over on that side of the hill. Eh, it won't matter. It's already a lot of snow over there. But yeah, we gotta get, um, our cranes out, guys, because we have to get a couple of truckloads done. Um, and by the way, guys, when I, um, I have to leave at, like, 5. Uh, it's about 4. Well, 3.30, almost 4. I might have to leave around 4.20. I'm not sure. It's getting close to 4, I know that. It's like 3.30, right now. So we should have a good hour and a half stream, hopefully. But yeah, I'm gonna have to leave because I gotta go, uh... Do some, uh... Some stuff. School stuff. Gotta go up to school. So, yeah. It's Christmas time. Christmas concert. Alright. Well. By the way, no, I am not. Tech I'm technically not 
playing an instrument or anything. So yeah. Alright. Well. I think we're basically cleared out just enough to worry in. Ah, now nah, we gotta clear out some more. I need kind of this whole patio-ish area cleared up. Man, that thing can really throw the snow off the mountain. Holy cow. Look at this thing. Look at it go. It's gonna shoot the snow way up. <laughs> Goes up and over those trees. There we go. Clearing up a little bit more snow. I'm just gonna clear up around this area a little bit more. Alright, well, guys, one thing we need to get, uh, probably today or tomorrow, is gonna be a fuel trailer, um, we gotta pick one of those up. Because the Unimog's almost out of fuel, and so is a couple of my other machines. So, we'll probably pick one of those up. And then... We should be set for equipment. So right now, I can run the farm... The, not farm, the, uh... It's used to saying farm. I can run the logging operation perfectly fine, but I decided why not buy this because we can get a head start. And I do need this because I have to be able to get up here. I have to keep this cleared out and the Unimog is not able to get all the way. Now I could have done it with the Unimog, it's just gonna... Uh, takes too long. It takes time that I don't have. Alright, so, it's about 3.30 in the morning. We're gonna take the Unimog up now. After I said I couldn't do it with the Unimog. Uh, it's just because it takes forever to get some of that stuff done. And when it is a big snow drift, it's hard to get this hill with the Unimog. Because it's only a plow. Now, I could run a snowblower on the Unimog, but I'd have to buy a weight system for it. Or, I'd have to use a salter, which the salter, I think, is just too heavy for it. One thing I do want to do quick is go into levelers. So, guys, in last FS, well, in FS19, this was the snowplow. Right here, this was a leveler and a snowplow. So, basically, this was hooked onto the back, and it's basically a back drag. Wow, Kenzie Planner. It's a good place. Alright, well, I don't need any other things. Okay, so. What we gotta get done? We gotta pick up a new, uh. Come on. We gotta. Push the snow out. I'm saying now I should let this warm up, but we're not gonna do that. It'll warm up down here. It's probably like minus 10. By the time you get up to here, So it's probably even colder because we are we are actually are up a hill a lot, guys. When you look down at that bobcat in my truck and those that's a fifty 
It's a 40 or 50 foot trailer and it looks tiny. I was just thinking, with how heavy that big chipper is that I have on the front of this, you'd think that that snowblower would work on here. But I, I think it doesn't just because, I don't think it will just because that thing is just a tiller, so it doesn't care what angle that thing's at. Where a snowblower, when you have it scooping, it does matter about the angle. Oh no, we're getting stuck. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, this thing's an off road beast. Okay, so next thing we gotta do take our semi. We're gonna back it up the hill. Oh man, we're getting up into some soft stuff. Just trying to do that a little bit more realistic. Okay, so next thing we gotta do, guys, is we gotta take our JCP. GCP running. So we're gonna take our GCP here and we're gonna load it with these logs right here. And if you don't know, these logs are the logs. I think that we cut them on the last video or live stream, something like that. But I have got some log cutting skill, if you guys don't know. You guys also probably don't know about that trick. To pull them away. Some of those tricks. It's not really a trick right there, it's just something you can do. So, sorry, but my screen is glitching out. Uh, there's not really anything I can do. Because I think it's with. What just. Why did it just throw the logs like that? I shouldn't have done that. Should have pulled them off. Yeah, my screen's glitching like crap. So, if I get disconnected from you guys, I'm sorry. It ain't my fault. And I know it's not mods, because I've run mods on this. And... Holy cow, I'm throwing snow. I can guarantee that one's gonna fall off any minute now. I know actually people that own a sawmill have two of them like within like three miles. Uh, probably four or five miles from me. So. I, 
I know how some of this stuff and what they use. Is this tree is it Jesus? <laughs> it's a holy tree. Shall not go to the cutter. Oh man, that bump is getting in the way. You guys can hear that engine going, oh my gosh, man. If I could strangle this backup beeper on can we not do poo Thank you. That was close. Those are scary when they tip over because they start to tip and then they go whoop, tip over really fast. Kaboom. Actually. I've actually seen this actually is better than some other logging companies stacking if I'm being honest oh you can hear it I love the diesel sounds in 22 how they actually have it going drang, drang, speeding up Okay, so for this one, I don't really want my whole pile falling over and becoming a big mess, so I am going to roll it on, because that is realistic. They would do that, because a log like that, you can roll pretty easily with a crowbar. Not a crowbar, but a big metal bar they use. I forgot the name of it. It's not a yawl or something like that. I don't know what it's called. Alright, well, we are getting close to logging operation time. Kaboom. Alright, so that's about as much as I'm wanting to fill that trailer. Because of how icy it is. I'm gonna chip these stumps. Yeah, getting in my way. I love these on construction companies. How they have these big ones with those big soft sponge like tires and they just go. I don't know why, but I just love them. They're so cool. Okay. Throw a couple straps down and you're good to go. Alright, so guys, it's now four in the morning. Okay, I gotta take this call really quick, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. 
Hello, dear. I scared you there with my epic horn. I feel heat coming off of my computer. My computer's not struggling at all. I don't know why it's got... I don't know why I felt heat. I thought I felt heat coming off of it. That's weird. That's why I have the snow banks there, guys. It's because I knew I was going to go into a tree. I put it at the wrong spot. Because these light bars look epic. I love cab overs. I just hate the newer, newer ones nowadays. These look ugly. Oh, man. I mean, this one's kind of cool because it's a man cab over, but the other ones I don't like. I like the man brand cab overs. They make good trucks. Here we go, everybody. Oh, shoot. Moment of truth. Okay, we are actually sliding. I'm not joking. That's why I idled down. <laughs> we might be stuck. Huh? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be stuck on ice. <laughs> Alright, well, we made 11 grand. Why did those go down so much? Oh no. Oh, we're spinning. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're still spinning. We are still spinning. Doesn't look like it, but we are. There we go. Alright. Man, what whistle? Was it for me? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I bet it was this whistle. By the way, that is the truck's horn. I like I like the first horn. Oh uh, yeah. I couldn't figure out what that was from. I didn't know if it was I couldn't figure out what song that was from. It's from Baby Shark. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. My backing up skills today are horrible. Oh my gosh, Steven. Back this up a little bit better. Okay. I don't know why, but I cannot back up something to save my life. I'm surprised this, I'm honestly surprised right now because I haven't put salt down. I'm surprised that this semi isn't slipping up this hill. Hopefully it's like that for the big snow hill too. Alright. Enough of that horn on the semi. Time to pull out the big boy. Not it's not your turn, Chainsaw. Not your turn. It's the big guy. Alright. So we'll let that warm up for a minute. He seems a little cold. This guy doesn't get a break. And of course, we're stuck. <laughs> oh, great. I'll just give it a yank with the Demco. Not the Demco, the, uh, or what do you even call this? The weird Japanese name, Komatsu. I'm gonna drop that right there. 
pick up Komatsu. Oh wait, we can pick up the snow. Holy cow, we are digging through the earth right now. I can't push them. Move! I want you out of my way! Oh, I almost broke my windshield. Move! Right. It's a brand new Komatsu X-Fade that I don't even use. And I'm gonna just ram it into this thing. Why are you not moving? Is this thing really too weak? There we go. This is this one's horn, it's very boring. So yeah. Alright, time to put the Komatsu. Oh, sorry, the weak. The weak machine back. I bet I'm about to get stuck. You gotta be kidding me. I got the Komatsu stuck. Now nothing's moving this except one of my big logging machines, but it, it might damage them, and I don't want to do that. Oh yeah, I could be an equipment operator. Oh yeah, look at me, watch this. Excavator time with Steve. You do that, and then you can go like this. Here we go. You bounce it. Okay, Lucas. See, you like Hunter Call of the Wild over there. Oh man, I'm gonna hit that fire tower. I do not need to get sued by the US. That's just roleplay for this fire tower, but yeah. Holy cow, I lost my track. It's fine, we're using just the wheels. On the bus going man. My fat butt can't make it. My fat butt can't make it through. This is why you buy the you. Once you got stuck in the snowbank, just like your bank account. And it will attack your bank account. Cause it's Komatsu. Don't know who it's built by. Not really. Don't even know. I don't use Komatsu. So watch this. Johnny's gonna go right over it. Watch as it touches snow and gets stuck. Boom. Look at that. Look at that snow. Damn it! The paint off the tracks? I don't know. Alright, well guys, here's the time you've all been waiting for. It's time to go down the steep hill and start logging. Well, right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be starting right over here. We're gonna go through this pass now one thing you do have to watch out guys and this is actually true you don't want to do what I'm doing right now but as you can see there are some trees there that could help stop me so as you can tell these tracks right here guys they have grooves on the sides of the hills so it is very dangerous because you're gonna be like a sled with like 70 ru runners being those little threads But I'll probably just go anyway because I don't really care. Alright, why are we? I 
There we go. Okay. Don't know why, but we're not cutting. I guess I was too perfect. I mean, I am perfect. Not really. Just joking, I'm not perfect at all. And if I am, I don't want to be. Alright. Yeah, you guys don't see other YouTubers doing this. Logging in the snow. Watch as I get back on YouTube next and see like 30 other YouTubers doing the same video. And I'm doing exactly what I said not to do. But I don't think that this snow is really that bad, guys. So we're going to keep going. Because um, I have grass, too. So I don't think I'm going to slide with how much weight I have. If I do, I'll just start to dig down put my boom in the ground and right into a track Oh man, here we go. Oh yeah. John Deere, you can make it up the hill. You can do it, John Deere. I believe in you. Oh, come on, just cut it. Oh, come on, cut it. It won't cut. It's gotta be perfect. There we go. Ooh, that was actually a really nice cut. Oh shoot, it's coming down on me. There we go. Now that's some logging. this. If that Komatsu can't do this, oh, you're actually sliding down the hill. Oh yeah, look at that. Komatsu can't do that. Oh man, we did actually just slide there. Oh, that's not good. There we go. And that is why you take classes on how to run these machines. Which I have not done. Because it's in farm sim. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering about how much this machine would probably cost, I'm pretty sure that the John Deere Scorpion King costs in the 500000 range. I'm going to look that up right now.
Okay. We go and pit the brakes. Boom. Oh, that last saw was so high pitched. That was funny. Tree, and then I'm gonna go backwards. Bye bye, tree. Uh oh, it slipped. Yeah, that happens. Sucks though, because I have to cut it up to the right length with the chainsaw. Okay guys, now it's time to uh, climb down this hill, steep, so I'm putting everything in that way, those arms, if I have to drop it down, don't hurt the uh, wheels there, then bend everything up, so, here we go. Now technically the best way to go down this would probably be to go forward. Just a light move and you start to slide. Oh, there we go. Should we see if this thing can go in water? who want me to go in the water. Oh shoot, I might be stuck. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, let's get back to logging. Got that tree. And that's not what you want to have happen because it pulls the whole machine. Shoot! Oh, that's not good. Okay, now we're in a danger zone, everybody. As soon as we cut this tree, that other one's going to fall. And depending on where this tree falls, that one's probably going to fall that way. Did I cut the tree? No, I miss it. Why is this thing keep missing the tree? My computer could too cold in it. Okay, we are right under that. We need to go down. Probably gonna slip on this tree. There it goes. Alright. 
Time to cut you. Hello, dear. Dear's like this man. Oh my. That's not good. Oh shoot. you do straight ah just too high oh man the wind's blowing me holy cow wind's definitely blowing out to here today And here we go. There's another tree down. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work and just take all these trees out in the middle. And then we're going to go grab the winch. And we'll take a little bit of time and we'll go and we're going to start winching all these trees out. Right. Finally shut my lights off and just run my one in the front. So now it's about 7 a.m. Everybody. Holy cow, this tree just glitched. That's not what you want to do. There we go. Oh my... That's not good for the cab. Um, I'm ready for the concert tonight. Uh, but if you don't know, uh, it, it is going to be a little scary. Because uh, I'm on two different things. I'm going to be playing all the music for the concert. So if I mess up, uh -huh, it's a little, a little scary there. I don't want to mess up. And then I'm also going to have to run to the back after I start the music with Ryan. Uh, when we have to do the uh, one of the last songs to go get the trays. So yeah, that'll be fun. Definitely nervous about that, but I know I'm going to do fine if I mess up. It's a school, it's where we learn. So, we should have mistakes. It just shows our progress. Alright, we gotta take down this little tree. That's not good. Oh, we're about to lose a whole... Okay. We almost lost. <laughs> yes, Ryan got mentioned. Welcome, Ryan. You've been mentioned. You know what? If you want, today's shout-out can go to you. Uh-oh. I cut down a little tree again. And here goes my Scorpion King. 
Holy cow, it didn't tip over. Wow. That's the first. Only my other scorpion kings will flip over. And yes, I've had it flip over and I had to go repair it and it cost a good amount of money. Oh no, 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 no. it's pointed right at me. Oh, he slipped off. Chat is. Let's calm down, guys. We, all, we okay? We all friends around here, I think. Oh, we had another tree slip. So one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have the best grip on the tree. Scorpion King, you want it to be able to grab the tree good. It's basically how Scorpion King works, guys, is you'll see those wheels spin, and then those wheels have spikes, and they take the tree branches off, and then at the end here, a little chainsaw, which is a huge blade, cuts it in half, and that shouldn't be pointed at me. Alright, right on my cap, thank you. Man, the chat's getting angry. I think we should all take a chill pill. Alright, I got a joke for y'all. It's t joke time. Alright. What did the tree to the math books? What did the tree say to the math book? This is something I created, and hopefully it doesn't come out stupid. You have 20 seconds to answer. I'm gonna go in the water a little bit here. Not too much, I don't want my engine. Oh man, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. There we go. Yeah. Okay, time is almost up. Gotta hurry. What did the tree say to the math book? What is he going to shoot you with? I have no clue what's happening in our chat. <laughs> Crane's whole career. Why am I stuck? Nerf gun, nice. I'm not gonna say it's a nerf gun.
Okay, guys, so we almost got this area all cleared out now, so, um... Kaboom. There's another tree. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our, uh... We're gonna go grab a winching tractor. I'm probably gonna have to cut down a couple of these trees. Um... And then whatever the trees are over here that we want to get down also. Because we got to clear this whole area out. Um, but whatever trees we also need to get out here. We're going to dig out quick. But I'd like to build a house. Right down here by the water. I think it'd be kind of cool to have a house down here. Not like right in this tight area right here. But like over on one of these sides. Put like a wood cabin in the woods over there. And then over here I have a couple open houses, which would be nice, like houses out in the open, which I think would be pretty cool, so. Is there a random hill of snow right here? Okay guys, so it's now time to fire up Big Rusty. Here we go. Okay, that's not on. Good. Okay, now Big Rusty is a big rusty tractor. As you can tell, it's very rusty. Look at all that rust. It's not dirt, that's all rust. As you can tell. And I'm, I'm, I'm not joking, it is all rust. It's a metal and rust. Oh shoot, here goes the tractor too. Oh man, we are sliding there. You guys are sliding now. Oh. Good thing we have skid plates. Okay, time to back up this side of the hill. Alright, I don't think we're getting up the hill. Alright, now we're gonna very realistically get up the hill. Time lapse. Boom, and we're up the hill. Definitely drove up the hill. Slid down the hill. Alright, for now, so right now we're actually gonna go realistic now. We were going. Oh, shoot. Okay, so now we're realistic. We're, we're being realistic now. So if I crash now, I actually crash.
Okay. Alright. So. I'm gonna run a rope out here. Chain to all of these logs. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, so now we're in the tractor. And those logs way down by the shore are about to get lifted. Oh man, we're sliding. Okay, it's now starting to pull us a lot. Okay. We're kind of at a spot where we're good now. We're, we're plowed into some deep snow. Oh, no. Tractor's going, tractor's going, tractor's going. Alright, we're going to very gently hop in this tractor. If it starts to go downhill at all. We gotta just push it, it jump out. Well, not push it, but jump out. There we go, we can scrape the snow off our tires while we dig. Come on. Alright, there we go. Okay, there goes those logs and it's time to go down and get some more. As you guys can tell, this is not an American tractor. So if I lose it, I could care for it because I need it. And here we go. Holy cow, we were saved. We were just saved there. I'm not getting back up the hill, but we were saved. Oh. I do like this because it also has a big train horn. Ooh, some wet, packy snow. Right over.
my gosh. Okay, guys, so... Yeet. I'll be realistically pulling a couple logs over here. It wouldn't be worth the pull without them. So, now we're going to do a deep pull with a ton of logs. And we got to bring them all up the hill. So... We're going to, uh, we're going to just see as many as we can get up. If we can get them all up, we get them all up. I just don't know if I can get many trees up here. Because, well, I mean, there's a lot to bring up. Now, this isn't realistic what I'm doing right now. But, the, the winching is somewhere. And this is one of our scary parts, guys. It's because on this side of the hill... It's hard to do it, because you need to be close to the edge, as close as you can get, because you don't have a lot of line on this machine. Um, and it's a steep hill that they're coming up, and if you're up at the top of the hill, this is going to start digging into the ground. This is exactly where I have to be. Like, I actually have to be right here. Also, it starts to dig into the ground, and you can't really do it. You can't tow, because it gets dirt and clunks up. Here we go. Can we make it with a yank? Here we go. One more big yank. Sideways. Let's give it a couple good more tugs. Here's another good tug. Here we go. See if we can make it. Okay, here we go. Can we pull it up the hill now? Okay, we got up the hill a little bit there. So. And by the way, guys, you can drive in here. Oh, well, I guess you can't. You're supposed to be able to. Holy cow, the trees are pulling me down the hill. The trees are pulling me down the hill. Oh, oh, my truck's done. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Uh. Huh. 
Oh my. Oh man. Oh man, that's not good. Ah. Oh, I, I can smell the oil in that. Oh, that's not good. This engine's done. This machine is done. Let's try and start it. Oh, oh! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Are you not? Uh, try and start it. Uh, no, 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 no! Oh, shoot! Fire it up, and then I think it just seized the engine. Ah, oh, come on! Come on. <sighs> Shoot. The engine. It seized. No. Let's <sighs> pull this up here. Ah. <sighs> That's not good. Alright. Okay, guys. It's time to go grab the front loader. And we gotta go hook it up to the, uh... That's a brand new front loader, so I can't lose this. But we, we can hook it up to the front loader and we're gonna... I'm gonna try and tow it with this. Some metal around. Alright, doesn't fit. I got an idea. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Try it with this. We'll give it a shot, and if it doesn't work, then we're gonna just poke it for the day and call it quits. It's about 10 o'clock, and it's getting to where the snow's starting to get really packy. And it gets hard to work with because it gets clogged up in the tracks and it gets all over, and it makes a mess. And these make deep ruts. Cause right now it's powder.
Oh, no way, you guys were succeeding. Right now I'm in the danger zone, but... Oh, I see why I won't pull it now. Okay, I'm calling it quits, guys. I can't pick that up. Uh, yeah, I shut this truck off for the night. So, that eh, hazard zone, too. Alright, well, we are not moving that today. That thing is stuck really good. So, alright. I'm going to uh, probably call it a day right now. I'll come back in the evening. But, uh, I do want to, uh, take this really quick. Turn on the blower quick. I'd like to clean up right here. I mean to do this. I gotta clean this up a little bit while I poke my tractor. I gotta take good care of this tractor, guys, because, uh, she is gonna be getting used a lot. This is literally the only machine that keeps our operation running right now. Without this and that Unimog, we would not be in operation. Unless we, we were able to uh, snowplow with another vehicle, we would not be in operation. So, I have very good respect for this vehicle, that's for sure. Alright, we're going to run up the hill here quick with some salt. Probably have a hazard on. Alrighty. Spray some salt, get it all over the vehicles. Everything that way it rusts them out quick. <laughs> nah, we just gotta get some salt out. Definitely wanna keep this salted very well. And it's good because this salt will stick to the ground really nicely because it's sunny right now don't want to forget to salt where you turn all right now it's time to back the salter up in here which don't want to put too much salt and that is the thing, you don't want to put too much salt on some places because you can actually slip in the salt or sand that you put down. Because if you have too much of it, I know it seems weird, but if you have too much of it, your car tires will just slip on the salt, which is kind of weird. Well, that's not really true in farm sim, but for small things like a gator or a four-wheeler, or I meant to say four-wheeler, but four-wheeler or lawnmower, if you're using it to snowplow your lawnmower, it can slip in the salt. So, alrighty, well, hope you guys did like the stream, and uh, I will be seeing everybody later. And hopefully, you had a great day. But uh, it's literally dark where I'm at. But I gotta go. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Okay. We we gotta do it. <laughs>